money beats dropping bangers.
So we come in with the heat You already know we bout to run it up All the way to second, yeah, let's run it up Post it If we hit you with that repost, you already know We networking, yeah, yeah, man, we finna blow All this pull up, say that we on the sun But we already know, yeah, man, we on the sun You already know, yeah, we bout to go You already know, hold on, wait a minute, let it go, yeah You already know we finna blow Shout out my squad, you already know we bout to turn up In a circle shit, yeah, then we finna blow up Yeah, yeah, you already know, yeah, let's go, so tap it You already know we been here all week Monday through Friday, yeah, man, we come with all the heat Producers from all around the world, you know what's up Artists pull up too, yeah, get that interview Cause we beat the motors, beat the motors, beat the motors, yeah, we beat Promoters, yeah, we beat promoters, yeah, beat promoters, yeah, we beat promoters, yeah, we beat promoters. Yeah, producers from all around the world, you know what's up. Artists pull up too, yeah, get that interview. We playing all your music and we playing you some beats. You the trending topic, so we come in with the heat. Post it, and then we hit you with that repost, you already know. Yeah, hit you with that repost, yeah, we finna blow. You already know, if you with it though, tap it, you already know, yeah. Shout out by Beats, shout out Beats Motors, and everybody tapping in. Certified. Just money, beats dropping, banging. Welcome back to Be Promoters Radio. We are live, as we always are, Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock p.m. Central, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern. We are live right here on the most important live stream event. If you're a music creator, music producer, artist, or a music fan, this is where you want to be. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is the most important live stream event on a weeknight. This is where you want to be tuned in to. I see the family tapping in. What's good? What's good? We got Gregor Beats in the building, Nishi Beats, DJ Frank Nice, Nito Beats, what's good family? Valentine Beats, Young Hitler, what's good? Chef Boy Little Mo is in the building, what's good? If you're new to this live stream, you just hit the jackpot. This is the perfect time, you got perfect timing. You are in the right place at the right time as we are making history. Absolutely, absolutely. We're going to have some conversation tonight. We're going to have some conversation tonight. And we're going to get to this heat. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get it. Thank you for tuning in to Beat Promoters Radio. Like, comment, and share. And follow for more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back to Be Promoters Radio. Like, comment, share, follow for more. What's good, family? Welcome back. Good to see y'all in the building. What's good? What's good? 
shout out to everybody, man. Yo, if you tapping in and you here with us Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock p.m. Central, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern, you are a soldier. And you really see the vision of what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody gonna have the, the wherewithal to, to tap in uh, as aggressively as we're tapping in because they don't have the vision that we have, family. It's gonna take some supreme vision in order to execute every night, showing up here every night. Every night, Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock p.m. Central, to do what we do best, man. We are creating the ultimate environment for music creators, producers, that's artists, that's music fans. We are attempting to do something that has never been done before. A space where music creators can collaborate to the magnitude of we that, that we've never seen before, right? Shout out to the Bobby's platform. This is the platform that we are all tied to that allows us to get the bag together. But we've decided to take this a whole nother step further and create a community around just what we do as music creators. You know what I'm saying? Right now is the perfect time for us to band together because there is so much going on in this, in this industry of music. There's so much happening. There's so much going on that we could talk about. I want to talk about a few things tonight. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Valentin Beats because... I think that he's spearheading. I think that Valentine Beats is spearheading a very important conversation that must be had. You know, we can never get to the point, family, where we allow our the relationship between artists and producers to become murky. We can't do that, right? Because without artists and producers having a genuine relationship, you know, it can mean the end of music as we know it. We got to make sure that that relationship between artists and producers stays producers stays intact, right? We got to make sure that we got to make sure of that. But we got to have some conversations because I think the internet has created a, 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 a you know a weird dynamic. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of us are so focused on getting to the bag that we forego the importance of relationship building. How much, how important integrity is, how important that is to have. You know what I'm saying? I want to have a conversation about that tonight. It's Thursday night. It's Thursday night. We might as well. Friday night, we got Christina Frago coming on, the artist known as Christina Frago coming on to the live stream. We're going to curate her tight beat playlist. We're going to get a chance to learn about her music. We're excited because we're getting back into doing more artist interviews. And so if you're a member here on the beat promoters in the beat promoters community, remember you want to make sure that you understand that, you know, you know, we want to schedule artists on the, on the live stream. So you can invite artists to be featured here on beat promoters radio. If you're a member of the Bible of the beat promoters platform, right? But I think we want to have some conversations tonight. You know what I'm saying? We want to talk a little bit about um, the conversation that Valentine Beats started on his IG page. Make sure y'all follow uh, Valentine Beats. But he's starting a very important conversation, man. You know what I mean? We're going to dive deeper into it. But I think that we really got to get to the bottom of it because I think it's an important conversation to have. Um, a lot of artists, some artists feel that, you know, hey, I, I don't really need to buy a beat until I create a song on it that's good, basically, in a nutshell. If I create a song on a beat and it's good enough, then I'll buy the beat, right? But, you know, being honest, that's not really good business, family. We can't really roll like that. You know what I mean? Everything that, you know, we do as music creators, people are putting their time, energy, and sweat into this music. And you can't really be... You can't really take that approach where it is, you know, you're kind of just like, yo, um, you know, look, I'm going to use your beat. I'm going to create to your beat. I'm going to write songs to your beat. I'm going to literally allow you to provide me a service that I'm not going to pay for unless I feel like I got something that's worth paying for. That ain't really good. That's not really good business. You know what I'm saying? 
we're going to play some beats tonight because we got a lot of new heat that we got to add to these tight beat playlists because we want to make sure that we are prepared every time we bring our artists on to the live stream and we got to be bringing more artists on to the live stream here on beat promoters radio so we got a lot of new heat we want to get to uh producers if you are here in the live stream uh you can always disrupt the stream Hit the link in the description of this live video. We're going to add you in this box right here. And this is so you can pull up. Let us know what you've been working on. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to understand this. This is an interactive, inclusive live stream. So if you're a member here, we want you to pull up. Give us those updates, whatever it is you're working on. What's going on in your world? We want to know. And if you got something new that you've been working on, let us know about it. We want to know about it. I'm opening up the stream right now. There we go. So let's talk about this uh, crazy dynamic, right? Where it is, um, there's a there's a there's a huge issue with artists, you know, pretty much just taking beats, ripping beats off of YouTube, and then going into the studio, telling the engineer, "Yo, the engineer, like, yo, where you be that?" And the engineer, like, "Yo, where you be that?" And the artist, like, "Yo, just go to uh, this YouTube page and, and and get the beat." You know what I'm saying? And that that. That is, I don't, I don't think that's going to work, y'all. I don't think that's going to work. You feel me? Let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about it, man. You know what I'm saying? We got Real Dean Music in the building. Nishi Beats in the building. Thank you for pulling up, man. Real Dean. Yeah, man, you got to get that rest, bro. We understand. We understand. We got Chef Boy, Little Mo in the building. What's good? Needle Beats, what's good? What's good? Yo, let's get the night started out right. Let's have some conversation tonight. You know what I'm saying? Let's play some beats. Let's talk about this dynamic, man. You know what I mean? Um, With, 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 with beat selling. And, and you know what I'm saying? And, and artists, you know, beat selling as it relates to artists. You know, there's a lot of artists that feel like, yo, um, if I don't really know if I got a hit song, I should just be able to go to YouTube, you know, snatch whatever beat I want, take it into the studio, record a song on it. And then if the song hit, then I'll buy the beat. What y'all think about that? Do y'all think that's do y'all think that's a good practice? Let's talk about this, man. Let's talk about this. Should artists have to pay for their beats? Whether they know it's a hit or not, should artists have to pay for their beats out of the gate? You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. Yo, let's get this party started right. We got one from DJ producer Luigi. It's called Extended. Let's get it, family. New heat. Let's go. Luigi got the size, boy. Yo, real quick, let me see what's up. I think we got Needle Beats and we got a newcomer. We got a newcomer. I believe the name is Lily. Let's see. 
Y'all say what's up to the family. What's good? What's good? Nito Beats in the building. What's good, Nito? What's going on, on, bro? How y'all doing? What's good with you, man? Yeah, man. And then we got Lili. Am I saying the name right? We got Lili. Lili, what's good? Can you hear us? It's I don't know if you can hear us. Can you hear us, Lili? Is it Lili or Lily? I think she might be frozen. Nito, what's good with you, man? Yeah, shit, man. And, uh, you know, just been busy all day and stuff. You know, after work, just uh, I had to do laundry, bro. Then I went to my mom's get <laughs> something to eat, bro. Real life, real life shit, real life shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, over here. He's working. He's working. Yo, Nito, do you got some? You got some beats on the Bobby Beats platform, right? Bro, I got like one, like one hundred ninety something beats on my button, my page. Bro. Okay, well, let, uh, you know, when you pull up to the Beat Promoters Radio live stream, you supposed to pull up with something in, in, you know, what I'm saying in the chamber. Uh, let's mm-hmm. do it then. Let's pull up. Let's pull up your profile real quick. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And play mm-hmm. something for the people. Yeah. I got your profile put up already. Okay. I'm looking at uh, you got Nardo Wick type beats, Nav type beats, Future type beats. You know what I'm saying? What's cool about it is, you know, we're gonna be uh, bringing a lot more artists onto the live stream, right? And yeah, when yeah. you get your beats into the Hot 100, then it just means that your beats will be played for artists because we only play beats for artists that are in the Hot 100, which are beats that are voted on by the community, right? So let's play what you got, man. What's a beat that you want us to hear, man? That you know what I'm saying? That shit that, that's really hot 100 material man uh it's definitely one of my nav and gunna beats i'm trying to pull up my profile right now well you got diamonds you got psycho you got cold mm-hmm. wrist bother those, see those are like my older beats like okay two, let me go down there ago. two years yeah. ago how long you been making beats shit, uh, it's been it's been like three years now okay okay uh, what about Toronto, Destiny, Dark Vader, out of here? Shit. Um, I say play Psycho. Psycho. Play, play Psycho? Because I'm looking at haters. You got bodies. You got bussing. Turn on me. Crime scene. Any yeah. of those? No. Ooh, actually, actually, man, uh, play Crime Scene. Crime Scene. Yeah. We got Lily in the... Look, it's either, it's either Lily or Lily. All right. Hey, look, I need y'all to understand <laughs> that I'm, I'm the worst. Okay, what's up? Say it again, family. I think she got a, I think she got a slow connection. Yeah. I think she got a slow connection. Yeah. All right, that's all right. Yeah, definitely. Oh, there it's, you go. There you go. What's your name again? Lily. Lily. So I said it first the right time. What's good? What's good? Are you on your Wi-Fi or, or mobile internet? I don't think she can hear us. Wi-Fi. Yeah. Wi-Fi. It's Do slow. this. Jump jump out and then come back in and see if we can get a better connection. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we got AI in the building. AI the music, the producer. He working on, an, on that assignment for school. Nishi yeah. Beast in the building. Gregor Beast in the building. All right, cool. So what'd you say the name of the beat was, Nito? Shit. Uh, play... Shit, I think it was uh damn. Okay, I got my actually uh go in the ser- my search bar and look up Nav X Gunna type beat do let's see. I'm trying to play some heat for y'all. So like Hold on before you do that. Before you do that, Nito, we got somebody coming on to the stream. Y'all okay. say what's up? All was good, Valentine. To Valentine Beats. Valentine. What's going on? Valentine, what's good, bro? Not much, bro. I'm here. What's going on with y'all? I love these new faces. I'm loving it. Man, I'm loving it, dog. 
And, and I'm loving that you pulled up, man, because you've been really creating a, a very important conversation on your live streams. Y'all need to tune in when 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 Valentine go live. Y'all need to pull up, man, because he's creating some very very uh, or he's sparking some very very important conversations, man. I kind of want to get into that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? If you don't mind, Valentine. Uh, yeah. But Nito got a, a beat for us, man. Nito, what was the name of the beat? Uh, it's a nap and gonna type beat. It's called uh, Crazy with two Zs. All right. I got it right here, man. We got a nav gonna type beat called Crazy. Nito beats in the building, y'all. Let's get it. Uh, that's my specialty, specialty right, right there. there. Nav and gonna beats. That's, that's like, like what I really, really like, love to make right there. there. Let's go. Okay. We got another hitter on our hands, family. Oh, shout out to AI Music. He said he got a hundred on that assignment from last week. AI, pull up and tell us about it, bro. Pull up and tell us about it. Pull up and tell us about it. Yo, we got Gregor Beats, Baby Tavish in the building. All these beats, what's good, family? What's good? All these beats, you gotta pull up, man. We was playing your beats last night. We was playing your beats last night, RD. RD, we got this new producer bag out, man. Yo, you gotta pull up. You gotta tap in with us. Hit the line, hit the link, RD, and pull up. Yo, this got a good bounce to it. Uh, if I, I love, was a rapper, man. I love, I love making, making beats with bounce, bounce bro. bro. That's, That's how I special. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh, we got we we got another we got another producer over here specializing in bouncing bouncing the beat. Oh, oh shit, word, word. word. Saying, you know what I'm saying? By the name of Nishi Beats. <laughs> oh, I like this though. Yeah. It got a lot of space. This is perfect, bro. A lot of space, a lot of room for the artists to do their thing. This is dope, man. Yes, sir. I like the vocals. How long you been making beats, Nito? Three years. Three years. Three damn years, and he already making heat like this, Valentine. Ain't that? I can't, I, I can't hear the music in the Discord. Say it again. Oh damn! You know what? I gotta open up the Discord. I'm tripping, Valentine. I'm slipping no, no on worries, my paper. Uh, no worries, my guy. Let me open it up. Uh, but hey, yo, speaking of you, Valentine, I appreciate the conversation that you're creating on your live stream. Uh, it's crazy, bro. I was reading some of the comments and I was like, wow. I, I was like, oh I my did. God. Really? This is what we doing? Yeah, it's sad, man. It's 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 going in a direction that I'm just like, oh, this is why this is why we're not making sales. I'm like, this explains everything right now. This is like the only people that's making sales is five percent. Like, it's horrible. It, we are in a bad, bad, bad. Like, we gotta educate these artists, man. We don't got no choice to just educate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what? Uh, you know, when I was reading through the comments, man, for me, for me, it just further validated and confirmed what I, what I, what I truly believe, man. And even though what I believe is controversial, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of left field. But I really believe that us producers, for the most part, are kind of, you know, right now we're kind of in the wrong business. You know what I mean? These artists, they don't really value the hard work. And I'm not going to say these artists because that would imply that I'm talking about every artist. And, and mm -hmm. I'm not talking about every artist. I'm only talking about those artists who think it's okay to just go to YouTube and rip a beat rap on the beat, put it out, not pay the producer for their work. I'm talking about those artists, right? Um, but I do think that it's time for us to open up other opportunities for us to generate income as producers. You know what I mean? And again, I'll keep saying it, the biggest uh, you know, thing that artists face, the biggest challenge that artists face is promotion. And that's why it's so good what we're doing, man. We're going to really key in and focus in on uh, bring an artist on to be promoters radio for interviews. We're going to really key in on that. You know what I mean? If you're, if you go to work, Needle Beats, Valentine Beats, 
Any producer that's tapped in, if you go to work inviting artists on to be promoters radio for the interview, you're bringing them into an environment where they're going to really tap in, become educated on a platform where ultimately they become your customer on the platform. And at this point, it doesn't matter who they buy beats from. When they buy beats, you still get paid. It's leverage that we need. We don't. The reason why we're so concerned about what artists do individually is because we don't have enough leverage as producers. And so if we create this leverage as producers. It's going to really create more freedom for us. And we won't have to be, you know, we won't have to be so concerned with what artists refuse to do when it comes to buying beats. You know what I'm saying? Renegade Society in the building. What's good? Because I think, I think there's a lot of producers who, who really are taking their music serious and understand that, yo, if I'm really going to take my music to, to the next level, there's no way I'm going to be able to rap on a free beat and expect that I'm going to actually be able. I, that's the funny part is that artists, some artists think that I'm going to be able to rip this beat, use it for free and blow up with it and make millions of dollars. That's not how it's going to happen. You there's 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 legal contracts. <laughs> In this stuff you know what i'm saying you can't you that's not how it works y'all i, I saw people i saw people in the in your comments talking about uh well i'm just gonna use the music and if it's good enough then i'll buy it no, and i said i said use the same logic with your music what if streaming platforms told you hey we just gonna let people you listen to your music and if they think it's good enough then we'll pay you you know what i'm saying i like that I mean, I get them in reverse, right? And it reverse back to you. You know, I like it. Yeah. You know? Like, I, honestly, put, honestly, like, artists, like, they don't, some of them don't even join. Like, I was in the DMs today, and I try to do my diligence. I was in the DMs trying to explain to artists, like, what a lease is. They don't even <laughs> understand what a lease is. They don't even understand it, bro. They don't. They don't even know. They're yeah. just like, oh, I've never heard. I've never, I've never leased a beat. I'm just like, oh, That's my crazy. God. That is and, and, and that's why we have to, as hard as it might be, we have to take a step back as producers and be willing to educate them. Because some some of them really don't know. You know what I'm saying? This music industry is very intricate and some of them don't know. They just want to be an artist. They want to put music out and they don't really understand the, the technical side of this game. And so, you know, even though it's an extra step for us producers, we, we really got to be willing to to do that. You know what I'm saying? And just educate them because some some artists might be doing wrong, not even really realizing they're doing wrong. Some artists know better, but some artists don't know better. And if some artists knew better, they I believe they would do better. You know what I mean? That's funny. Is that they keep doing it. Right. And they don't they're not paying the, the consequences of it, or they don't have people around them and say, hey, look, that's not the right way to do it. So mm -hmm. the person is with me is I look at me, Jones, I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. And I'm going to play the bad guy. I don't have no problem. I don't have no problem being the bad guy because we need more bad guys because we got to teach them that what they're doing is not good. It's bad. And if we do that, then we're doing our part. And now more people are learning. If I could teach one artist, like well, how are you supposed to do business correctly? Well, every day, one person, I feel like I did something. For sure. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. No, Jones. Yeah, Nito, what's good? Did y'all did y'all know like I just found this website today? So apparently they they lease like not like lease but like they give away like royalty free beats for artists to use for uh, distribution services. There's a lot oh. of websites out there. Yeah, there's like a lot of that. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of that was yeah. it. That's like news to me. Like I don't know if y'all heard, so I was like, might as well tell y'all, you know. So it's AI, it's AI, AI. AI. Let, yeah, let, AI, AI is trying to take over right now, bro. Yeah, yeah and, 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 let me, and let me just let me just share something with y'all, man. We are good, family. We are so good. <laughs> Look, you know, I don't know why, but I have these visions, y'all. We are so good as long as we continue to band together because AI, technology, this platform, that platform cannot beat out our natural creativity we band together we come together and we pull together right we use whatever you're good at nito we use whatever you're good at valentine we come together right this is how we survive the the days of individualism and i'm gonna get it how i live i gotta get mine you gotta get yours that's done if we're gonna survive against technology 
we got to come together and this is what b promoters radio is all about as 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 long as we continue to come together and mastermind like the way we are we're going to create we're going to create opportunity we're going to create the next evolution the next stage as far as where we're supposed to go maybe it's not selling beats anymore maybe we're supposed to do something else as producers but i can tell you what i can guarantee you this if we keep coming together having conversations together in a, in a space like this we're going to figure it out we're going to figure it out you feel what i'm saying uh, yo, we got, we got, we got, uh, damn, uh, I, I was, li Lily, am I saying your name mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How you doing? Are, are you frozen? Or are you good? No, no. <laughs> are you good? good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Are you a producer? Are you, are you a, a producer, producer or artist? I am not a producer. I'm an artist and writer. What? Oh, oh we've been it's looking like... for you. We've been looking for you. You a songwriter? <laughs> yeah. We need some songwriters in this camp. That's what's up. What kind of music you focused on? What kind of songs you write? Um, or what? I, I honestly do everything. Like, okay. I, I, whenever people ask for collabs, I normally run off of what they want. And I try my best to do what they're wanting from me. That's dope. That's dope. Is, dope, that, dope. is that the lane that you are pretty much or primarily focused on just being a writer? Or are you interested in being an artist as well? I'm both pretty much both. like whenever i'm whenever i'm collabing with people i'll write my own stuff and then i'll sing it for them and then they'll decide if they like it or not and if they don't like it i'll change it up are you a singer i am what yeah, kind of music thing. what kind of music do you sing anything are you are you a are you like me a shy a shy singer i'm a shy singer i'm a singer I, but i'm I, a, I, but i'm I, a, I, I used to hide behind my beats, but I feel like I've become more confident. I ain't got no confidence. <laughs> Don't listen to him, bro. <laughs> so, so, are you a confident singer? At least be honest. I feel like I've gotten conf more confident. I want to say I am confident. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, you in the you in the right place because we gonna give that confidence. We gonna put that battery in your back because I see the tiger in your eyes. I see the tiger in your eyes. You feel me? So it's too late to to try to convince me that you don't believe in your skill set because I can see it. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, uh, what if I told you to give us like two bars? Would you do it? I could. Could you give us two bars? What kind I of song could. do you say? Do you say existing bars? Well, let me ask you this: Do you do R and B? Pop, what what you do? I've done pop, country, uh, some slow rap. Um, okay. How old are you? How old are you? Sixteen. Oh, you a beast already! You a beast? You already? You already ahead of the pack because you are you on the live stream. You on a live stream. You are right now, so you already ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Damn. The young, the young people pulling up. Yeah, the children are the future. You, you said you heard that. I got, I got, I got a little vocal lab. skill in there. Uh, that's, that's bad lab Jones is creating. It's that bad lab. The youth right now. It's, it's making the youth right now. Um, it's about to make the youth take off. They they have a they yeah. accessible right now. You know they're getting in there. That's a fact, they're, man. They're, the, the, the children are the future. Yo, go ahead and uh, <laughs> yo, give us like give us a, give us a note or two if you want to. Uh, can it? Do you want like a song I've done or? It don't matter. Song? Whatever uh, a song you done, you know what I'm saying. A song you done or okay. a cover song, you know what I'm saying. You want me to do a duet with you? <laughs> give you a beat. <laughs> Valentino, give you a beat. <laughs> it, it could be a song. It could be a song you wrote. It don't matter. No, I actually still don't really know if it's pronounced K O I or K O I. Hmm. Looking through my lyric book right now. Oh, she got. Hey, she got a lyric book, y'all. It's not a game. It's not a game. <laughs> Yo, she real with it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? What I talking about? Chef boy, uh, chef boy, a little more in the building. R&B type groove segment, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm looking for them R&B singers. Baby Tavish in the building. She said Jones can rap. Don't don't be lying to these people, Baby Tavish. I can't rap. I can't rap. Nito B said, y'all, I'm pulling back up. 
Okay, you let me go. Nah, hey, on the cool though, I I might. There's a chance that I might have some bars. There's a chance. Like if I I might be the freestyle a little bit. If I'm if I'm in the mode, I gotta be in the mode though. You know what I'm saying, Valentine? If I'm in the mode, I might be to pull off a couple of bars. You know what I'm saying? I might even I might even hit y'all with a couple of metaphors. You feel me? Hit y'all with a couple of <laughs> <laughs> with a couple of metaphors. You know what I'm saying? I used to be I used to do battle rap back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, uh, on the Chitlin Circuit. On the Chitlin Circuit, I used to do a couple of battle raps. Then nobody really know about it, but a few people did. That's all that matters. Uh, oh, Lily, what's good? You ready? I think so. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yo, we got the family pulling up on the Band Lab side of the game. We got Gregor Beast, our Band Lab general, along with Maniac Concoctions, holding it down on the Band Lab side. Uh, is that where you found us, Lily, on Band Lab? Yep. yep. That's what's up, man. We Come started so going bad. live. We started going. We're, we're live on YouTube and Band Lab. We said we need to start going live on Band Lab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're on Band Lab and you putting your link in the chat, family, I'm I'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> tell you. I'm just gonna tell you. Ain't nobody looking at your link in the chat. Okay? <laughs> if you wanna pull up, pull up. If you got something to share with us, do like Lily. Pull out like Lily. She ain't post. She ain't spamming the chat. You see what I'm saying? Don't be spamming the chat. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I'm looking out for y'all. Uh, don't be spamming your OnlyFans link in the chat. Ain't nobody trying to go to your OnlyFans. Don't nobody want to know what you're doing with a jar of mayonnaise in your toes. Ain't nobody trying to look at that. Uh, Lily X. Oh, Lily X. I just okay. Yeah, that's I'm looking. Me. That's you right there. That's what's up. That's what's up. We got RT RZ in the building. What's good? What's good? All right, Lily. What you got? What you want to do? Um, I'm gonna sing a song that I did, which was a collab with somebody else. All right. Um, I'm just going to start off from where my part started. All right, bet. Um, I'm torn. I'm not sure what to do anymore. I keep burning bridges and there's nothing I seem to do right. That's why it's easy with you by my side. Yeah, there's something in your eyes catches me by surprise. I despise all the lies between us. Got me stuck in my head so close to the end. I've tried my best to adjust. Yeah. But it seems so hard to be somewhere where you can't move on. There's so much time. I just want to be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's potential there. Great tone. Great, yeah, yeah, great potential, right, Valentine? Good yeah. tone, good tone. Good and job. you know what? You know what? The biggest thing I recognize, you ain't scared. No. Oh, me, I was scared. You ain't scared. No, nah, you, you ain't, ain't scared. You came through. Nah, you brave. That's it. Hey, hey, you know what though? I, 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 I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you your flowers and your props because you got on a live stream, people watching, people in the yeah. comments. And you did uh -huh. your thing. You got to be proud of yourself. Yeah, give yourself a lot of applause for that. Because I couldn't have done it. I'll be scared. Okay, well, <laughs> my, my thought process is if I can drop my song links in a chat and let them listen to it, then I can sing my own song with my own voice and not be mm -hmm. afraid to do it. There you, Ooh, just for there you go. There you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get y'all life together. 16 year old, I already got her life together. What y'all doing? Yep. Yo, check it out. I'm going to bring another producer on. But tell you what, man. You found me now. But make, make sure I say your name right. Because one thing, everybody already know that Jones be messing up names. So Lily is the name, yeah, right? Really. All right, good. Lily, let them know how to find you on, on Band Lab. What's your name? What's your handle on Band Lab? Uh, Lily X underscore official. There you go. There you go. Lily Tap X, in man. Tap in with it, Lily. We go live 8 o'clock p.m. Central, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we here on Band Lab. We're going to see you again. Appreciate you tapping in. We got Lily X in the building. You feel what I'm saying? Young folks coming to show y'all how it's done. Coming to show y'all how it's done, man. Yo, I want to bring another hitter on the live stream, man. Y'all say what's up to RD. 
Beats. RD, what's good? What's good? RD, what's good with you, man? Yeah. It's been a minute, and we got Nito Beats back in the building. Nito, what's good with you, man? What's good with you? Good, man. I'm glad to be back. Uh, I had a really special guest in my laptop. <laughs> nah, it's all good. RD, yeah. what's been good with you, RD? RD, you a busy man, bro. Oh, yeah, you know me. I just, yeah, I just been working. Yeah, man. Working, yeah. Working, working. Hey, man, we appreciate you uh, locking in with us, man. Locking in with us. Uh, we got a few things going on, man. We just dropped the official B Promoters merch. Man, I see that. I saw that. You see the uh, you see our flagship, you see our flagship yeah, yeah. uh product, the beat maker bag. No, nah, yeah, they, they, yeah, I seen all of it. That's tough. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to give me some. Bro, we sure finna la we launching the affiliate program with it, man, so that the family can promote. Uh, the beat maker bag, I merch and earn commissions, bro. Say this, oh yeah, say you know I'm signing up for that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, we finna we finna turn all the way up, man. You know the beat maker bag. You know we excited about it. It's available right now, bpromoterstore.com, family, and then join the Discord. And when you get the beat maker bag, your shirts or whatever merch you get, make sure you post it in the merch or the drip or what we call it. And that way, all of us can promote it, share it, and uh, share it in our, you know, our IG or whatever. You feel me? Uh, RD, it's from from you. But here's what I want to ask you: uh, Over the last few days, you do you follow Valentine Beats on IG? I think I do. Either I, I do it either on Facebook or IG, one of the two. Make sure you follow him on IG. He's got a, a good conversation going on right now, uh, in regard with regards to like artists. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists pretty much ripping beats off YouTube and not really seeing the value and paying for beats and what's your whole take on that? Like what's your whole take on the the artist and not you know, some artists literally are saying like, yo, I don't think I should have to buy the beat. If I'm not sure if the song gonna be a hit, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, my thing is hits aren't made, hits are marketed. Ooh, say that again. It hits hits aren't made, hits are marketed. So if you if you if, if, if you want hits aren't made, hit, hits are marketed. Market if you want it to be a hit, make it a hit. Put the money behind it. Invest in it. My thing is like everybody. The artists get 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 their royalties. Engineers get paid. Uh, uh, the, the dude sleeping on the couch in, uh, over here in the studio, he got paid, I'm sure, for something. But when it comes down to the producers, everybody wants to, oh, well, you know, uh, I, ain't, I ain't got it like this. Or like, wait till Friday, you know, like, let's see, I feel like we get the worst end of the stick, if anything. Mm. Yeah, we still gotta come out, we, we still gotta come out of our own pocket, you know, like for, for plugins, for, you know what I'm saying? Sacrifices. Yeah, yeah, man. That shit right there ain't cheap. Mm hmm. Mm. Nobody say that shit is not cheap. How do y'all yeah. feel about the subscription based beat market approach where we allow artists to have access? So, how would you feel, RD, uh, if artists had access to your entire beat library, but then basically paid you a monthly subscription fee like Bro, a Netflix? I've been trying to do that. I've been trying to do that. That's the game changer. You rocking with that? Like, straight up. I have been you know, to, like I've been personally like myself for like the last year or so been pushing it to, to my own clientele and, and shit like that. Like just telling people, hey, if if you don't want to hit me up, you know, every week for a beat or you know, every other day for a beat, give me a monthly X amount of dollars and I'll give you a, a link to a Google Drive or something, just something like that, a playlist, something like that to where you can just pick and choose as you want, you know what I'm saying? I've been trying to do that. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. So mm -hmm. I, I've been I've been in conversation, you know what I'm saying, with 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 the Buy Beats platform, you know, because I do think that I do think that's the future as far as where everything is going. Because I think that artists for the most part, maybe artists don't want to pay 30, 40, 50 dollars per beat, but maybe see the value in, you know what, if I got a whole 30 days to come up with 50 bucks. Or 30 bucks or 20 bucks i'll pay that to a producer every month 
if it means I can have access to the entire library. Because as producers, here's what we got to recognize. And a lot, of, a lot of producers don't even recognize this. Even if an artist takes your beat and creates a song to it, this is no, this ain't knock, this ain't a knock on artists. It's just the reality of it. Even if an artist takes a beat of ours and makes a song to it, 98% of the time, it's not gonna go anywhere. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to go anywhere, right? So, producers, we really shouldn't be that tight about the concept of multiple artists, unlimited, using our catalog to create songs because the large majority of the songs being created aren't ever going to see the light of the day. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're able to generate and monetize and earn income in spite of the fact, right? But artists at the end of the day are, thri are, are, are thriving on the belief that their particular song is going to be the one that hit. Even if their song hit, you still own the rights. You still own the publishing. You still get, you still own the rights to your beat. So even if the beat and their song take off, you still get paid on the back end. But here's the thing. As long as we're holding our beats hostage to 30, 40, 50 dollar price tags, then our beats don't even have the opportunity to even get to the point where artists could create a hit because our price tags, believe it or not, are creating a barrier for artists to be creative enough to even create a song. In order for an artist to create a hit, it takes a lot of song. It takes repetition. An artist has to have repetition in order to create a hit. They got to create. They got to be able to create a hundred songs before they can create a hit. So if an artist can use a hundred of my beats, and on a one hundred beat of mine that they use, it, it become a hit. I'm cool with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I still got paid every month during the process. But then they finally wrote a hit to the hundred beat that they selected of mine, and now they went to the moon with it. Versus. They never would have found that beat because they didn't have the thirty, the twenty, the fifty dollars to pay for the for the license agreement. You see what I'm saying? They didn't. Have, they just didn't have the money. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah. I'll be trying, I'll be trying yeah. to explain it to, you know, I try to explain to artists about like leasing and, and, and exclusive rights, things like that. Because the, the main question I get is is well, what's the difference between between the loose uh, between lease and getting it ex exclusive? You know, and it's just like okay, look at it like this: I'm a realtor, and 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 these beats are my real estate. If I let all these rappers come into my neighborhood and start looking at houses, and let's say you know, saying this rapper wants to buy this house or whatever, but he can buy this house, he can rent it, he can rent the house out. Yeah, that's cool or whatever, but. He got to understand that once he once once his time is up with it, somebody else is gonna be right there, ready to move. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a line for it, kind of thing. Unless you do want an exclusive, then you can buy it outright and lock it up, and now nobody can touch it, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a similar, similar kind of aspect. Like, that's, I mean, really, that, that's what I've been trying. I've been trying to put it to him, and uh, that's really where I be trying to tell producers too. Like, whenever they everybody tries to make exclusive sales, exclusive sales, exclusive sales. Go for the lease, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why we tell people, go for the lease. You're going to get, because you're going to continue to get paid off of it by three or four or five other rappers who decide to use the same beat. You know what I'm saying? Once you say it's exclusive, it's done. It ain't, you can't make no more money off that. And not only that, from the artist aspect of it, because I was just having, I was literally just having this conversation with an artist who wanted to buy exclusive, right? From me. And I was telling them, because I don't need to, I don't need to just take people money for just whatever reason, Right. You know, I could have just been like, yeah, pay me exclusive, right? But I don't need the money. So here's the thing. I'm going to tell you the truth. Here's the thing. An artist who, because artists been trained, I need to, I need to have exclusive beats. I need to earn. I need to get, I need to have, I need to have the rights. I need to own the beat. But this is the problem. If you're an artist, right? If you're an artist and you're looking at beats and you're saying, I need to buy exclusive right. I need to own the beat. What you're not thinking about is this is actually a business for you. So every time you buy a beat, it's an actual investment. The point of making an investment in anything is to get a return. If you can't get a return on your investment, it's called a bad investment. So when you are an artist and you're looking at a price tag for a beat that's $500, $1,000, $2,000, 
2500 $5,000 for an exclusive beat, and you're an artist who doesn't have a name or brand, you can't perform in your own city and get 50 people in the room to watch you perform. You can't, you don't have 10,000 monthly listeners on any of your streaming platforms. You ain't got 10,000 followers, right? How do you propose that you're going to get your investment back? How do you justify spending that amount of money to own the rights to a beat for a song you don't even know is going to be a hit? So why buy a, a beat for a song that you don't even have, right? You don't even got a song. You just you got a potential idea for a song based on a beat that you heard, but you don't know if the song you're going to create to this beat is actually going to see the light of day. And on top of that, you're not known in your own city because, you, for, for example, if you perform on, in any club, you can't get 20 people in the room to watch you perform, right? What you should be focused on as an artist, right? And this is just based on what the gurus are saying. Because that's what I pay attention to, right? What's working. You should be able, you should be working on your brand. And the way to do that is put out, you got to be able to put out music consistently. Consistently. This does not require you to, to spend all your money on beats. You should spend the least amount of money on your beat budget. And put more in that, more of your budget into your marketing and promo, right? Purchase a lease from a producer, right? Purchase a lease from a producer. If you are an artist, it's levels to this though. Just, just to be clear, it's levels to this. If you're a signed artist, you're an artist that has a, a following, you're on a different level, then I understand why you need exclusive beats, right? But if you're an up and coming artist, you're on the come up, you're building your brand, your name. It's really no reason for you to invest in exclusive beats because there's no way for you to get your investment back at all. And that's just me being real because a lot of producers want to even be real with artists like that. They'll be like, oh, you got 2,500? All right, cool. That's what it, give me that. They're just trying to get the bag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They didn't want to even be real with artists, but I'm being real with artists. Look, go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? There is really no reason to steal beats at in this at this date in the game. It's ridiculous. Especially you know it's worth thirty dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. Especially when a lease is thirty dollars. I was saying to another rapper, I was like, if you, I can't afford thirty dollars. If you cannot, I'm sorry, I'm I don't mean to be like straight up, but I always I'm always blunt. If you cannot afford thirty dollars, you need to change your freaking career. I'm just being real. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I mean that's. That's a fact. And but the thing is they can't afford $30. The, the problem is you don't really believe in your music like that. You're on some lottery ticket type shit. You're like, yo, I'm doing this music, and if it blow up, it blow up. People who really believe in their music, they're willing to yeah. invest in it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm just That's I'm right. just trying to share with artists because I just had a conversation with artists who really believe in their music, ready to spend twenty five hundred to five thousand dollars for a beat. I had I had to tell them, ah, as much as I would like to just take that money, let me just tell you, because you're a new artist, you don't have a name. I'm looking at your social media. You're not really. There's no conversation being held on your social me media with regards to your music. There's nobody paying attention to your music via your social media. In other words, you don't have an active conversation going on on your social media. That's about your music. This is not the time to spend that kind of money on beats. You need to spend money on other things. You know what I'm saying? The first thing the artist got to recognize is there's a lot of artists in the world, y'all. Did y'all know that? There's a lot of people making music. In order, to, <laughs> you gotta you gotta really be able to tap into your tribe, meaning the people who rock with your music. You got to be able to touch them in a different way in order to get them to pay attention to your music. You cannot be a closet artist. You can't think I'm just going to make good music and that's going to be enough. Nope. You're going to have to let them in behind the scenes. You're going to have to give them access. You're going to have to let them see the road and the journey as far as how you go about creating your music. Fans don't just want good music anymore. They want an experience. They want to be included. They want to feel like they have ownership. The only way to do that is to give them a backstage pass 
into the reality of your music creation process. So if you think you're just going to create music that's just going to be dope enough for people to just rock with you based on how dope your music is, that's few and far in between. You're going to have to give them that access. Now, if you feel like I don't want people all in my business, then hey, it might not be, uh, being an artist might not be for you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just what it is. Producers as well. That's the power of it. We get to control what we show people on our social media. You feel what I'm saying? The thing that I'm trying, the thing that I'm expressing is the fact that activity and being active, actively, it like if you there's a lot of artists that I see on Instagram that's that's doing it right and staying active but giving content, pushing content, staying in front of their audience, updating their audience. You know, Be Promoters Radio is artists. This is another platform for you to like. You can literally pull up to Be Promoters Radio, come on a live stream like this, just to tell us about what you got going on. I don't know why more artists ain't taking advantage of that, Valentine. Like, if I'm an artist and you and I'm being told I can come to Be Promoters Radio that goes live every day of the week, and if I want to come on and say, "Yo, I just made a new song in the studio last night," I could do it. You know how powerful that is. I feel you know, like with artists. I feel like with artists nowadays, it's like, um, you know, they, they're too busy, what they got going on, you know, it's like they don't, I feel like they just don't want to make the commitment to sit down here and talk, you know, talk to live, you know, a live community, you know, about their music and stuff, you know? Yeah, some of them don't have the courage to do it too. I feel like some of them, um, I, I was talking to an artist the other day and I was like, hey, I'm gonna set up an interview for you. And her words was, oh, I'm not really good with interviews and I'm scared, I get, I'm like, I'm like, girl, you gotta perform. Hey, Do you realize you gotta get over that? That might be, right. a, sign. That might be a sign, like, you know, maybe Yo. not really all in. I don't mean to laugh. Yeah, when I was shocked when she told me that. She was like, I can't really <laughs> afraid about interviews. I was like, you gotta perform. Do you know that? I know, I know, you're right. I gotta sooner or later perform. I mean, you gotta get over this. You gotta get over this hump. Huh? Like, that's like if I'm a basketball player and I don't really dribble the ball like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could pass the ball, I could hold the mm -hmm. ball, but if you trying to okay, make me so dribble, that ain't really my steez. And I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to make fun. I'm just saying, like, you know, it, you know, that's the thing, man. Everybody wants to be an artist. This is letting people know that. This artistry, like being an artist, this is a real deal role. You know what I mean? Like you can't fake the funk. Either you a real artist or you not. People be, people look at artists as a, I mean, be, like people look at music as a bag, as a money making scheme or an opportunity. Yeah. You feel me? And that's what makes the the you know what I'm saying. That's what makes the 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 people who are really just trying to monetize this whole game stick out. But when you're a real artist, a real artist, you want to promote your music. And as long as we get aggressive, you know, RD was talking about this last night. Um, we're going to start as a community becoming really aggressive on inviting artists on to be promoters radio. But not only that, executing on. So think about this, RD. Artists got 99 problems and a beat ain't one. We recognize that, right? The biggest challenge that artists have is promotion. So with this platform, we're able to give them promotion as long as we continue to grow as a network, right? So when we bring artists on to Be Promoters Radio, how powerful would it be when that artist gets booked for Be Promoters Radio and we are jumping into that artist chat saying, yo, I can't wait to see you on Be Promoters Radio and then sharing that artist in our stories. When an artist comes on to Be Promoters Radio, we're sharing that artist, interacting with that artist, when they're off the live stream, we're taking the replay from that artist interview and we're reposting it, resharing it, sharing it out on our social media. You know what artists are gonna say? I got so much promotion from one interview that I'm rocking with B Promoters for life. So when you become a resource and you have the power and authority to book them onto B Promoters Radio, I don't care what it is that you got to offer, whether it's cups or beats they're gonna look at you first when they need to get that we have to become a resource before we you know that that's the power of it that's what you call it that's what you call it that's what you call it
that you see no facts, man. Facts. Yo, Jones. All facts, no fiction. Yo, Jones. Yeah. I wanted to share a little win with the Bybee family um, that I got today, and it's about Bybee, so I wanted to share it. I didn't share it with you guys. Um, do you know the Bill Collector? Um, the rapper. I think he got uh, yeah, Bill Collector on Buy Beats. Yeah. He asked for beat requests. I actually got a phone call today by his manager, and my my, my beat was chosen. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I just gonna uh, just gonna buy one of your beats. I yeah, mean, no, that, I mean, it's your time, bro. I think yeah, everybody I can. Here. I think everybody can feel that, man. Like. You know, it's you on the cusp of something crazy. <laughs> it's something crazy about to happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? For you. I'm waiting, man. Patiently. I'm waiting, but I'm running out of gas, bro. No, 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 no. Be still. Like this year, this year, this year, I was actually like, I was, I don't know if a lot of people know that this year is actually was gonna be my last year of producing. Valentine. Yeah. Valentine. You hear me? Be still. Yeah. There's about to be something so look, it's about to be something so crazy. So earth shaking. So earth shaking. Bro, we all gonna be excited and rooting for you. Yeah, you just need to you just need to be still and watch what happens. Yeah, yeah. I know I've been trusting it for 10 years. I'm trying. Hey man, I'm trying to hey. trust it. Sometimes that's what it take, man. That's some time. Sometimes that's what it take, man. Wait till I tell my testimony. I've been making beats for almost 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Long time, bro. Long time, man. It's 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 something I'm not gonna lie, when you get to that I can't that, wait to that point, that mark, it's something something changes, man. Your creativity changes, like shit changes, man. You know, um, but I gotta like I'm a person that I'm real creative, and like um, I get to a point where I just feel like oh man when I can't create no more or I feel like I'm done, I get to that point I start talking to myself I'm like oh man my time is coming I'm about to it's yeah. about to be all in, and then next thing you know it, I come back I come back you know so I do the same thing man some days that's one thing come. that's one thing it's like if you ever feel one thing I know is like if you ever feel like uh I guess if you're burnt out. I mean, you can always take a break from music, bro. Because music's always gonna be. Mm -hmm. Now, but I'm hard on myself. I, I'm, like, one thing I'm gonna say, me, I'm up there in age, so I'm, I'm like, I'm 36. So it's like, for me, it's like, I have a momentum right now. And I'm like, right now is the time. So I gotta push. And I feel like if I stop the momentum, I feel like I won't be able to come back to get it. And I know it might sound crazy for a lot of people, but I just feel like I'm up there in an age where I'm like, oh, no, I can't stop the momentum because I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back. No, you ain't lying. Yeah. You ain't lying. Well, tell you what, man, we about to take things to a next level. I truly believe that everybody here right now in this moment is here for a reason. I know that for a fact. <laughs> I know that for a fact. If you're here right now, you're here for a reason. One of the things we got to do is we got to execute. We're getting ready to take everything we're doing with Be Promoters community to another level. Collaborating with content. That's what I mean, right? Let me open this up real quick. Let me open this up real quick. Boom. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So look. In the Discord, we got a new, we got a new channel that's for social media ideas. All right, we're going to start collaborating on social media ideas. The cohesive or the cohesion that people need to see on the outside looking in, um, that that's where it's going to start. This is where it's going to start in, in the Discord. So any ideas that we have, if y'all remember, there was a viral uh, reel, you know, it, like, for example, if you from Chicago, you would be like, yo, I'm from Chicago. Of course, I like, you know, the Chicago Bulls, right? Y'all remember that, that, that uh, reel? We're going mm -hmm. to start creating our own viral reels as a community, right? This is what creates that inclusiveness that people see. Everybody naturally wants to be a part of something bigger than them. That's a natural inclination that every every human being has. 
if we create that environment, something that people want to be a part of, which is what we're creating right now, but we have to put it on full display. We have to become very good at illustrating that. And we do that by coming together. It's cool that we come together on this live stream in this environment, but we have to go out. We got to take it a step further. We're doing that with our after party chat. After every live stream, we go live in our after party chat where we're chatting it up. We're talking about things, but then we got to take it a step further. And we got to show people that, yo, even when we're not live, we're still interacting with each, with each other. This is not just a one-time event. This is a full-blown collaboration, right? Where we are all supporting and succeeding together. Yes, sir. Everybody wants to be a part of a community like that because most music creators don't get support from their inner circle. Their inner circle is telling them it's a pipe dream. You need to get a real job. You're never going to make it. It's a lot of people do music. Why do you think you're going to be the one? That song is cool, but you know how people, you know how many people make songs? They're getting all this negativity fed in their direction. To get support from a community of like-minded people is the most refreshing thing they could ever encounter, right? This is why the door is wide open for any group of music creators who understand this. Just like when we launched the merch, uh, the, the community merch with the Beat Promoters merch store. Can y'all think of another community that has merch on this level, right? Where it includes the entire community. That lane is wide open. The lane, can y'all think of another like community like the one that we're building, right? Where we're saying, yo, we're going to be the Nike of music creator communities, right? There's a lot of music communities, right? But then how many people on the outside really feel apart? You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Other than just feeling like a number. You're just another person who signed up for something that they got you to sign up for. And you did, you just here. But then nobody know you here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thanks. How many communities are like us? I'm telling you, man. All we got to do is stay actively involved with what we're doing. So as far there's a lot of dope people in this community. You know what I'm saying? But we need to come together and collaborate. Uh, with the beat with the beat maker bag, uh, already beats. Have you seen the beat maker bag yet, bro? Yeah. This is what we're gonna do. I don't know, already beats. Are you in the Discord right now? Because you can't even see my screen right now, can you? No, I see the screen. Yeah. All right, this is the beat maker not, bag, I'm right? That's I'm not in the Discord though. You can see the you can see what I'm showing them though. He's on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it on YouTube. All right, bet, bet, bet. So we, we're going to create some uh, content with this bag. You know what I'm saying? Some fun content, right? We got to get a little comical, you know, where my comedians at in the community. I know we got, I know I'm not the only comedian in the community, right? So we got to create some fun content. So we were just thinking, uh, you know, for example, we were like, yo, uh, we're going to illustrate everything that we do with this bag. You know what I'm saying? So if you at the gym, I work out with this bag. You know what I'm saying? Do you show the bag? You know what I'm saying? Or I cook up beats with this bag. Or I eat cereal with this bag. You eating cereal out the bag. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever crazy <laughs> thing you could think of. You know what I'm saying? And then we're all doing... See, it re honestly, it doesn't really matter what we do if we're all doing it. It's the yeah. collaboration that everybody sees. Yeah. It's the yeah, involvement yeah, yeah. that everybody yeah. sees. Say it again. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on that. Yeah. Yeah, man. We we gotta create a movement. Oh, yeah. It's gonna work too. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna go viral and everything. What? Manifest that shit. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It got yeah. potential. Those colors and all that got wild potential. And then putting yeah. the producer name on it. Ooh. Fine. Over. Yeah, Yo, we're going to, we're going to see, here's the thing. When these bags, we're dropping these bags, right? These are the, are the flagship bags, right? But as we grow and elevate and evolve, we're going to evolve. We're going to elevate and come out with special edition bags. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bags with the, with the, uh, with the producer's logo or name on the bag, uh, leather and suede editions. You know what I'm saying? Like all kinds of different things. You know what I'm saying? This is just the beginning, y'all. This is just to get the name. See, we got to attach ourselves to a brand and then build as a tribe. Everybody wants to be a part of an exclusive organization. You feel me? Everywhere in the world, you can find people 
that are a part of a fraternity, a sorority, an organization, an association, a boys and the girls club, the bloods and the crips, a Catholic, Muslim, I mean, it doesn't matter. And organizations is what people want to be a part of. It's our natural inclination. Because as human beings, we want to build together. We don't want to be alone. You feel what I'm saying? No matter what anybody says, people want to be included. But in this producer music creator community, we've managed to create an environment that's very competitive, very everybody step on everybody to get where you're trying to go and go. There's not a whole lot of support or supportive communities or environments where people can come in and insert themselves into where they really feel like people are here to support them. Everybody got to become a little less fo- self-focused, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and realize that there's somebody else out there who wants it just as bad as you do. And if you partner with them and help them achieve, you'll get exactly what you want too because the universe works exactly like that. That's how the universe works. You understand Shout what I'm saying? Shout out to Beats by Casual. He in here. Beats yeah, by yeah. Casual in the yeah. building. Yeah. Let me tell you, man, let me speak to Beats by Casual. One of the dopest producers on the Buy Beats platform. Bro, I'm Number telling you, just having you in the chat. Because there's Number a lot of... Pro- we, 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 we've been playing your beats for a while, and there's a lot of producers that rock with your beats, look up to your... You know, look up to you because of how dope you are. Just having you in the mix means a lot and goes a long way. Everything that we're doing, we're doing it for the greater good of the entire community, right? When people like, that's why, you know, people like you, Valentine, pull up, you know what I'm saying? Already beats everybody. It makes what we're doing that much greater because, because there's somebody who in, that follows you or knows who you are that looks at you and says, well, if Valentine Beats is doing it, I'm going to do it. If... Nito uh, Beast is doing it. RD Beast is doing it. I'm going to do it. That's how people find where to go. That's how people find direction. They look at people that are already involved. You feel what I'm saying? So, Mm -hmm. of course, we got our own individual things that we're doing. By right, we should, right? But if we Mm -hmm. could take time to see the bigger picture of what we're doing right here, it's going to create waves, y'all. We were supposed to play some beats tonight. We were supposed <laughs> we were supposed to play some beats tonight. I said when I get on here tonight, I said, look, when I get on tonight, I'm playing beats. I ain't gonna do no talking. We're gonna play beats. And <laughs> we got into this conversation, but it was necessary. Yeah, we got Christina, uh we got Christina Frago on tonight. I mean tomorrow night. Thanks to you, Valentine. Uh mm-hmm. yo. So everybody knows, check it out, man. If you're a member in our Discord, you can go to our calendar in the Discord. We got a community, a live community calendar where you can book artists, right? If you book an artist to appear on B Promoters Radio, but just to be on the live stream, they gotta create an account on Buy Beats. So they ought to, they automatically become your customer, right? Because that's necessary in order for us to create their type beat mm-hmm. playlists is what which is what we're doing on the live stream once we have them on here so just naturally they become a customer they don't even think about it so if you were to come to them and say yo sign up for this platform you can get this that and the other that get paid when you listen to beats they would have had questions for you like what you mean what when how what who when where right but do you know when we invite them off for an interview and i just be like yo go sign up here they don't even question they just do it <laughs> It's the psychology. It's the psychology. It's different, y'all. You can I'm never get them to sign up. You can never I, like. It's rare to get artists sign up regularly. Like they've been signing up to me. I got three hundred and fifty, but honestly, like it's really difficult to get them to sign up to Bobby's. It has to be something that they're offering. Like honestly, Jones, you said it earlier. Like if they could pay our subscription, um, if they could pay their own subscription to us. Oh my God. And then we make referrals from that, from artists. I got 350 artists already on there signed up. So, sheesh. Can you imagine if each one of those artists paid you $20 a month? What? Do the math. Man. Do the math. $20 a month. But I'm going to tell you what, though. This is why when, when, when you guys think beat promoters, 
the future means for beat promoters a platform where music producers music creators in general who are a part this is going to be a multi uh income generating machine we got the merch already you know what i mean we got the discord we got the buy beats platform we're going to be introducing other opportunities because the beat promoters community is all about creating leverage for music creators you know what i'm saying there's a whole there's a whole lot of things that we already do naturally as producers and artists that we should be monetizing that i'm going to point out in the future like things that we already do producers things there's a lot of things we already do in the process of us just creating music that we're not monetizing and that we should be monetizing that i'm going to point out later right but everything is in phases everything is in steps you know what i'm saying we're launching the the b promoters platform in general we're launching the the uh b promoter store you know what i'm saying and then we're going to continue to introduce concepts even the events that we have you know what i mean um the beat from uh, the beat lottery you know that's something that i'm taking my time with introducing because there's legal implications with that you know what i'm saying you know uh if we're talking about yo we're going to have producers pull up we're going to have them submit a entry donation fee which will enter enter them into a lottery which where if they get the most votes for their beat being the dopest basically they take home the pot 80 percent of the pot 20 percent stays with the house there's certain legal implications that I got to make sure that we cover in order to actually do something like that. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's, that's, you know, we got to be, we got to make sure we covering all of our liabilities. You feel what I'm saying? But that's not just the only thing. There's other way that look, y'all, I'm telling you, look, look, man, look, if we build this community, y'all, uh, everything that we talk about as far as like beats and stuff like selling beats and stuff like that, it won't even it'll be like so second nature like it won't even matter at a certain point you feel what i'm saying and i'm only talking about those who understand the power of tapping into this movement right now if you plant your flag right now if you become uh 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 an early adopter and 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 you become a frequent attender you feel what i'm saying of this of this live stream it's it's only going to keep growing it's only going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And everybody who comes in behind you is going to have to recognize who you are because you're here before they got here. You feel what I'm saying? Time go by like this, y'all. Go by like that. You know what I'm saying? This time next year, the goal, this is my goal. This time next year, uh, I want to do the first Be Promoters Radio Awards next summer. Not this summer, but the next summer the beat promoters radio awards i feel like we're going to hit mass appeal soon i feel like somebody is going to come into this organization and they're going to start a uh, they're going to start like a fire in this in this community and and, and people are going to be coming from everywhere you know what i'm saying and everybody you know how they say everybody and their mama everybody and their mama gonna start tapping in and then there's no stopping it's no it's no turning back at that point at that point it's the point of no return you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, things might be what they are right now, but there's no indication as far as what where, where things are going. You feel what I'm saying? Beats by casual, like I said, man, people like that, dope producers like that. You know, and I don't expect every producer to pull up every night or every artist to pull up every night. Pull up when you can. Mm -hmm. Just be active. Be a part of it. Let when people come, make sure that they know that you're one of the main characters in this movie. Cause it is a movie. You feel me? We're going to continue to do other things, man. Valentine, let me ask you a question though. Yeah. We, we, we were doing something called pimp your beat, right? And we were having a conversation about this in the uh, mm -hmm. meetup like two days ago. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, yo, that's still a crazy dope idea. And it was fun. You know what I mean? And a lot of times we might get sidetracked with other ideas, but we we can't forget about the good ideas we already have. RD, do you know we were doing what we were doing with our uh, pimp your beat, uh, Nito? Do you know what we were doing with uh, pimp your beat? Yeah. So yeah, pimp yeah, your yeah. beat. This is basically what it was, because a lot of people in the chat who don't know, every producer, I don't care who they are, got a folder in their la in their hard drive dedicated to whack ass beats <laughs> every producer these are the beats that you started on 
the idea was amazing. You was coming home from work, or you was in the bathroom, you was cooking, and this melody started playing in your head, and you're like, if I make this beat, it's over. I'm going to change everything, right? You go to your workstation, you start working on the beat, and for whatever reason, it just don't pan out. It don't turn out how you heard it in your head. So you don't throw the beat away, you just put it in that folder dedicated to whack-ass beats, never to be heard or seen again. So in a pimp your beat, this is what we said we're gonna do. We're gonna take two producers who are gonna go head to head, no ditty, right? And they're gonna compete in the craziest tournament competition showcase ever, where they gotta take their wackiest beat out of their hard drive and give it to their opponent. Their opponent has to flip the beat. They have to give a new life. They have to recreate it and turn it into something. They gotta pimp your beat. That is, uh, that's a pretty crazy idea, but that's, that's pretty good, honestly. It's challenging. It's a challenge. They got to take your whack beat and make it into something and give it new life. They got to pimp your beat. You feel what I'm saying? We did the yeah. first one already. We did the first one with Nishi Beats uh, versus Sauce Money Beats. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people was like, yo, this is a dope idea, but for whatever reason, we just stopped doing it. Valentine, what you think, man? Do you think we should do another, another, another series of Pimp Your Beat? Honestly, this might be an unpopular opinion. I say no. It might be an unpopular opinion, but I say no because I just—it's not that I don't like the concept. I just feel like it's—it's it's cool and it's fun. But I prefer us to do like more, maybe like continue to tap in into other levels, like keep leveling up. Artist interviews. Yeah, yeah. Just keep doing and more artist interviews and more more stuff that's gonna benefit us. I just feel like that's cool. Like it's fun. Like we could do it once in a blue moon. But as far as like taking the idea and always doing it, I just think we could actually do like more serious things. But that's just my forty year old ass talk. I kinda I kinda you know? agree with you. you. Honestly, honestly, I kinda agree with you. And that's why I kind of brought it up to see how y'all still felt about it. But I do honestly kind of agree with you because it's like, yeah, it's something we could do that's fun. You know, just an exercise. But we really mm -hmm. need to focus on tapping in with these artists. And the only way to really do that is to keep these interviews going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sorry, and, man. I'm a serious person. That's all. I'm, I'm just more like I'm more strictly for business. Yeah. I'm like, what we gonna do here that's just gonna benefit us and continue to keep making us stronger. Like it's fun, it's cool, but like we could focus more on artists, bringing them interviewing here, and focus on more things that's gonna benefit us as producers in the community. That's just that's me. the number yeah. one thing, uh, Valentine. Is the artist interviews? That's that really is the number, you know, the pimp your beat and even with uh beat lottery, those are all things that are just extracurricular activities that are just for entertainment value. That's all they're mm -hmm. for, right? But when we, when, yeah, when we get down to the nitty gritty and we stand on business, it's really about getting artists on because at the end of the day, we need to sell beats to artists. Artists need to connect with us. So in order to do that, we have to do these artist interviews. So with that being said, man, I do agree with you on that. What we got to understand as a family is all the artists that we already connected with. There's a lot of artists that follow you, RD. There's a lot of artists that follow you, Nito. There's a lot of artists that follow me. We need to become very aggressive and say, yo, are you, and this is as simple as it gets. You go to the artist, DM them. This is how easy it gets. Remember, every artist wants to be interviewed. That's your ammunition. That's what you understand going into it. And if you ask them this simple question, yo, that last post you did was dope. That's your new song. Oh, man, you did your thing, right? Compliment, right? And then ask him this. Are you open to being interviewed? Hey, no, no Diddy, though. I'm going to start doing that to all my artists that I've been contacting lately. It's going to work. Start this week, bro, yeah. I'm going uh, to go full throttle with it, and I'm going to see you know, how many in interviews I can get. Because, I mean, I message a lot of artists weekly, and a lot of them kind of like have been responding to me now. So... If I bring that to the table, you know, that could be something that might be interested in. That's it. You no, know? but so, here's the thing, Nito. Once mm -hmm. once you go to an artist and you ask them, are you open to being interviewed about your music? 98% of them are gonna say, Hell yeah, I wish somebody would shine a light on my music. What, what what I need what I need to do, say less, right? But when we get them on, we have to execute. What do I mean by that? When Nito, when you go to uh, MC Rap-A-Lot, MC Rap-A-Lot, and you book him for an interview, 
by going to the community calendar in Discord, looking to see what day is available. That's what y'all gotta know. If a day is available, you could just book it. Book the interview, right? And then everybody needs to be checking the community calendar in the Discord, seeing what interviews are scheduled. Take the share link, the actual link, and put it in your story. Share it in your story and tag the artist, right? Tag the artist, go to the artist page, and go in their comments and literally type, I can't wait to see you on B Promoters Radio. This gonna be dope. Make the artist, give the artist a wow experience. It's only gonna make it easier when you book your artist, right? When the word gets around, it's only gonna make it easier when you book your artist. And remember, every artist that you book is automatically gonna sign up and create a Bybeats profile and end up upgrading because when they come over here at the end of the day, they're going to become a member. Now you're earning residual income, passive income, because it doesn't matter who they buy beats from. Once they're in the system, you earn commissions. Mm-hmm. Once we start like, once we start getting that popping, it's a wrap, right? Everybody yeah. should be going to artists that follow, that you follow, that follow you. Yo, go to their last post, music that they're promoting. Comment them on their music, DM them. Yo, I see you doing your thing. Your song is dope. Are you interested in being interviewed about your music? Are you open to being interviewed about your music? Hell yeah, we're at. Yo, this is dope. New platform called B Promoters Radio. I tagged them in your comments. They're going to reach out to you. It's a wrap. Or talk to them yourself. You might already have you might already have a relationship with that artist where you could just have a conversation with them in their DM and then go ahead and book it on the on the community calendar. We go live Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock p.m. Central, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern. If you go to the community calendar in the Discord, if that day is open, that's your day to book them. Book it. The next time you see them, they're gonna be right here on B Promoters Radio. They're gonna be your customer. You feel what I'm saying? They're going to yeah. be your custom. And uh, I actually had a question. So on the Discord, is it under the, like, to book an artist? Is it under the artist booking? In the, gotcha. It's under the artist booking. Because I, I, I'm seeing it. I clicked on it. It says I don't have permission to book. No, to schedule the calendar. You got to hit the calendar. Calendar. <clears throat> don't, right don't. on the Discord, you hit the calendar. Don't uh so so if you're first of all if you're for those who are not a member on the Discord is be promoters on Discord, right? But don't worry about it saying that you don't have permission to uh uh or you don't have access to that channel. That's gonna change, so don't worry about that. But in the future, if you're in if you got an artist that you need to book, you will be able to go to the calendar in the Discord and just schedule it on the calendar for that day. You know what I'm saying? For that, for that, whatever day that you want to book them for, whatever day they're available. But here's the thing. Remember, this is your artist. So if you book them, book them on a day that you're going to be able to help them get on the live stream. I'm going to start doing tutorials on this, right? But it's real simple. When you reach out to an artist that you follow, an artist that follows you, and you ask them, yo, are you open to be interviewed about your music? And they be like, hell yeah. Hey, look, let's book you on B Promoters Radio. Some of them may already be seeing it because we all kind of follow each other, so they kind of seeing it anyway, right? Oh yeah, I've been seeing that. I want to get on there, right? Cool, I'm gonna book you on there. Oh, you got juice? You got the juice? Yeah, I got the juice, right? Book you on there, right? And then book them on a day where you can actually show up and help them get on the live stream. Because in order to get on the live stream, they need to have a a Buy Beats uh, account. So you're gonna let them know. Go ahead and create your account now. Because on the live stream, you'll need an account in order to participate in the interview. So get your account set up. It's free. Sign up as an artist, right? Then on top of that, join the Discord. Because during the interview, you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, you're gonna need to be in the Discord. So just go to B Promoters on Discord. Download the Discord app. Search B Promoters. Sign up, right? Or you can just go to the uh, Discord yourself and send them the direct link to the Discord. That way they can just click on it and go right in. You feel me? So you're going to let them know on the day of, right? I'm going to reach out to you 
for video and sound check. I want to make sure that you're in the uh, live stream. Make sure you can connect to the live stream. Make sure that you can get in the Discord. You're going to need your mobile phone and a laptop. When they come on, so those who have seen an interview here on Be Promoters Radio before with artists, the artist joins the live stream with their mobile device, their, their phone camera, right? They're listening to the beats in our Discord. So they're on the live stream with us via their mobile device for the camera so we can see them, but they're listening audio through the Discord. So when they're on the live stream, they're in two different places. They're on their video camera on their mobile phone and they're listening to the music in our Discord. So you'll tell them you're gonna need your mobile phone for the for the actual video so we can see you on the live stream. And you'll need your laptop or computer so that way you can hear the beats that we're going to be playing for you during the live stream. So you'll need to be on your computer in the Discord, right? So you're going to be involved, right? So don't think that you're just going to book the artist and then that's all you got to do. This is your artist who ultimately is your customer. So you want to make sure that you expedite the process uh, accordingly, right? So be prepared to be available on the night your artist is scheduled to be on B Promoters Radio to make sure that they, A, know how to get on the live stream, which I'm going to be assisting. We're going to be working back and forth. And then also, their artist has videos. They have a Spotify. They have music. And we tell them, yo, any Spotify, any videos that you have on YouTube, you're going to email that to B Promoters or BPR100 uh, at gmail.com. I send you all that information, right? Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna put all matter of fact, I'm gonna put all that information in the Discord as well. But I send you yeah. all that information. That way we have their videos, their music that we're gonna be playing during the live stream. So ultimately, when you book an artist, you you're gonna be involved in the process as well because that's your artist. You feel me? It makes them feel comfortable too because you're their point of access. They know you. They don't know me. You know what I'm saying? It makes them feel more comfortable that somebody familiar is on the, you know, helping them get prepared and getting on the live stream and the whole nine. And it's just more professional. We want to always have that professionalism. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, man. We done turned this into a whole tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe, you know, get one, like, in the Discord, like, a video, like, a content video, you know, how we can, like, do that. Wait, say it again, say it again, Nito. I said maybe, like, uh, maybe you can, like, give, like, a little tutorial, because, like, I know I probably won't remember her after the stream, honestly. Yeah, and so we, I'm going to do a tutorial, but when you book an artist, whenever you get an artist, just DM me and I'm going to walk you through. I'm explaining it. I'm explaining it now, but I'm going to be there with you step by step anyway. So okay. I'm just explaining the process to y'all, but y'all not going to have to do all that by yourself. We're going I'm going to be telling you step by step. Okay, now give them the email. Make sure they send you this. Okay, here's the link so they can get onto the live stream. They on here? Okay, good. Now let's get them into the Discord. I'm going to be I'm going to be walking you step by step in real time. You feel me? So you won't be doing none of it by yourself. I'll be I'll be there with you. You feel what I'm saying? And we're going to get them onto the live stream. And once they're on the live stream, you can either stick around and kick it and ride shotgun because you invited them to the live stream. It's your artist. Or you can just chill in the chat. That's another thing that uh, producers, artists, if you invite an artist onto the live stream, you can ride shotgun during the live stream and be on the live stream because you invited the artist. Or you can just chill in the chat. That's up to you. You feel what I'm saying? I know when I uh when I try and, yeah when I get one yeah I'm gonna definitely be on live stream with them because like you know I like to be you know with my artists and stuff you know on a personal level you know when I yeah. meet them with them, so hell yeah yeah definitely do that. I had an idea too going back to like the whole extracurricular thing uh, uh stuff and shit like that uh one thing you could do that would kind of go with the whole tapping in with artists and that kind of thing too is is uh, try to like have like because like I know on the, on the platform there's beats with hooks and and shit like that you know people people make that kind of uh, that kind of material or if we get somebody that can just come up with a catchy hook to a beat and we have an open verse challenge you know what I'm saying have have artists come through you know just either, either do it live or, or, or have them posted somewhere you know what I'm saying just and the winner of that gets a free beat or you know what I'm saying so, something like that you know but uh. So, you know what I'm saying? That, that could incorporate the artists as far as and bring more artists as far as that too. Because I know on my, my social media, 
I've been seeing a lot of that. Like I've been seeing like A and R's and managers even posting a beat with a hook on it, and they'll do da, 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 this challenge, and then uh, you'll see like 40, 50 artists start in the comments or whatever, or, or DMing them, start dropping. You know the open verse challenges. You know what I'm saying and shit like that. And they'll, they'll, I just the ones I've seen be like cash prizes and shit like that. But I mean, I don't, I don't know a few artists that would do it for a free beat. Well, you know, we tested that, R.D. We have something called the Hook Me Up Challenge, where yeah. we uh, we picked the beat. We picked Nishi Beats' uh, track called Don't Miss, and we're in Band Lab. And so we put together a challenge where artists could um, put their best hook on the beat, right? So the goal is for artists to, you know, take the beat and write a hook to it. And the question is, who's got the question? who got the catchiest hook? And then we're going to yeah. vote as a community on who has the catchiest hook. We're going to vote, put a poll up in the whole nine and vote. Once we got the hook, we, we voted on the beat. Now, we, now we're in the process right now where we're voting on the hook. After we get the hook, we're going to ask for who got the best verse for it, for this now. And we're going to vote on the verses. But it's kind of yeah. taking a while to get the artists to really tap into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, for whatever yeah. reason, right? Yeah. I really truly believe that the artist interviews is what artists want most because when artists come on here, man, I tell you, they have such a good time. They have such a good time. Uh, and after every interview, they tell us, yo, this was a great experience. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, even if I've been, even the artists that have been on interviews before tell us they've never been on, a, on an interview like this one. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. and, and it all ties into the buy beats platform. Which is ultimately what we want. You feel what I'm saying? So I think we all got to just uh, go down this road together and focus on artist interviews, man. Remember what the main thing is for for me. It's like, yo, artists got 99 problems and a beat ain't one. They want promotion. If we can figure out the promotional uh, challenge that artists have and help them with that. It's going to be a natural progression for them to want to purchase beats from us because we are who they are familiar with. We're going to take the burden away from them having to search for producers and beats. And we're going to make it just an easier process for them by the way, by way of them just knowing who we are. Because when artists go to YouTube, they don't know who those producers are. When they go to whatever platform, they don't know who those producers are. But if we could be the ones to establish a real genuine a relationship with them because we become a resource a of value they're gonna they're gonna it's gonna be natural for them to want to get beats from us as well you see what i'm saying it, it'll be nothing so the artist interviews man that that's the ticket right now yo that again nito I said, I'm actually about to message one right now, like to see if he is interested in being interviewed. Yeah, and, and just tell him. And here's the thing. Oh, I must I must mention this. I gotta mention this. So there are some things to consider. Valentine, you you probably gonna vouch for this. It's some things to uh, Valentine, are you frozen? No, I'm here. Okay, okay, cool. Uh there's it, some things to consider, y'all. Um, if you find an artist and you know, this is this is not a knock on the artist, it's just Sometimes you're not ready to be interviewed. We gotta consider that too. Sometimes an artist is not ready to be interviewed. So if that artist doesn't have any songs at minimum on YouTube, they don't have any songs on any streaming platforms, they have no visuals, they have no videos on their social media, it don't even look like they're an artist. They don't even have 500 followers. They're not ready to be interviewed. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely agree with you. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I saw Casual. He, he put something in the, in the comment section. He said, do a video on how we can get artists scheduled in these interviews. I'm going to, me and John, we, I'm going to work on trying to do a video for content. We're going to make a video because I think if we can make a video and show, and show these producers how they can set up artist interview, we'll get a whole week. We're going to book week every week we're interviewed. Yeah, and, and y'all gotta, you know, I gotta apologize because I've been so busy. Now you got that shit going up. Yeah, you got a lot shit. it's impossible. It's impossible for you to do it by yourself. We all got, we all got lives, man. Life be life. Life be life, but we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to make time. You know what we're gonna do? 
This is what we're going to do. Casual, hit me up. Tomorrow, tomorrow oh, okay. night is the uh, interview mm -hmm. with Christina Frego. But Monday night, we're going to do live tutorials on how to set up interviews. And that's Ooh. what we're going to talk about on Monday night. There you go. There we go. There you go. Hold we're going to do a walkthrough. This is going to be the training video Hold on, Monday. There you go. on Monday night. Casual, you heard that? Casual, pull up Monday. It's going to be the Monday night. And I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Discord. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Discord so everybody knows <laughs> how that works inside the Discord. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> hey, man, look. I, you know, it'd be hard for me to sleep at night. I ain't, I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. I, now, you look like you didn't get sleep today, bro. Huh? <laughs> you look tired, bro. You look like you didn't get sleep today. I do? Yeah, when you came in alive, I could tell you just, you look like you're not sleeping, man. Trying to, try to get some rest, man. Put some... Put some um, how can you say it? Put some Asian music, the massage Asian music. Put it nice and low, and get some sleep, bro. You gotta, you're creative. You 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 got a lot. Of, you're a person that you have a lot of ideas in your brain, and you got it's still running. So you gotta shut it down. Yeah. So sleep, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. And th this weekend, I ain't gonna lie. Like for the last few, because I've been working on the the store. I've been working on the Discord. Working on the live stream. A lot of shit. So yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna make sure I get the rest and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gregor Beast over there and Band Lab. I'm gonna make sure I definitely get the rest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you too, but yeah, man, I, I'm I'm excited, man. I'm excited about everything that's going on. Uh, and this is all part of it, man. This is the part that's necessary for us to come together and figure this thing out. Everything. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, we need that happy ending. <laughs> Say it again. And said, Jones, you need that happy ending. I need what? I need what? I didn't hear you. You get a happy ending, bro. <laughs> so sorry, bro. Yo, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Just to laugh, bro. We gotta get out of here, bro. It's 11:10. Yeah, and we, yo, we went over way over the night, man. Look, y'all, y'all go cook up something, man. You know what I need to do? Honestly, this weekend, I'm gonna cook up some beets. That's what I haven't done in a minute. I've been really like salivating over making beets. I haven't made, I haven't made a beet. <sighs> Damn, probably, like, probably been like six, seven months. Send me a melody, bro. I add drums on it. Yeah. Hell yeah. This weekend, I'm going to make some beats, y'all. You know what I'm saying? The store yeah. is up. Uh, the store is up. Everything is, is straight now. You know what I'm saying? So we just watch. We just watching everything work. You know what I mean? We're just watching everything work. Um, But yeah, man. Everything is legit. Everything is good. Everything is rolling. We lit. Yo, we're going to be back live tomorrow night. We got Christina Franco on the show. We back doing our thing with live artist interviews. Hey, next week, let's try to do, let's try to challenge ourselves, man. Next week, let's, let's just go, let's just go crazy interviewing artists. Yeah. Y'all yeah. put me to work, man. Put me to work interviewing some artists that's really turned up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's get it, man. Yo, everybody give out, what, what is going on with the, uh, hold on. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm looking like, what is going on with the thingamajigger? <laughs> Yo, Valentin, give out, uh, matter of fact, Nito, give out your social media, man. All right, so for y'all who don't know me, don't follow me on Instagram, I have NitoBeats99, and on IG, not IG, uh, TikTok, NitoBeats, and then, uh, yeah, also on ByBeats, NitoBeats as well. Go ahead, RD, right, give out your social media. Let me go, Michael. RD. RD, oh, give out your social you media. Valentine. I thought you said Valentine, my bad. No, you good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can tap in with me on uh, Instagram at, at Produce at RD Beats. Uh, you can tap in with me on Facebook. Everything's at, at Produce at RD Beats. Uh, Bobbeats.com, same thing. You know what I'm saying? I do live streams on Facebook and Instagram daily, if not every other day, cooking up new beats. You know, so tap in with you know, I'm every day with it. There you go. You already know it's Valentine Beats on all social media platforms. TikTok, Valentine Beats. Instagram, Valentine Beats. Bye Beats, Valentine Beats. YouTube, Valentine Beats. Make sure you got the Z, no E. You already know. 
Yeah, same same here too. Like how my name's displayed right now, like that, and also with a Z. There, yeah, there you go. There you go. And then y'all should know on, on weekends, if y'all notice, I don't even do so I don't do social media at all on Saturdays and Sundays. I don't even post. I don't even be take on social break. media. I take a break. You know what I'm saying? Beat, <laughs> I, I, I'm about live. to cook beef. I'm about to, hey, I'm about to start going live cooking beats. Yo, follow me, uh, Jones on the Beat on Instagram, Jones on the Beat one on TikTok. Uh, Jones on the beat on Twitter. I'm gonna start tweeting again. Oh, they don't call it that no more. I think it's X now. Uh, and then, uh, yo, bpromoterstore.com. Bpromoterstore.com. Yo, let's get the bad that's gonna change the game. You know what I'm saying? It's on the screen right now. The beat promoter, beat maker bag. What's your favorite color? Black, red, or white? Let's get it. We'll be back tomorrow night. Christina Fagro will be on the show. All these interviews. One love family. We out of here. Peace. All right, peace. Thank you for tuning in to Beat Promoters Radio. Right now, vibes. By beats. Beat Promoters. Mod Squad. You already know we've been here all week. Monday through Friday, here we come in with all the heat. Producers from all around the world, you know what's up. Artists pull up too, yeah, get that interview. Cause we be promoters, be promoters, be promoters, yeah, we be promoters, be promoters, be promoters, be promoters, yeah, we be promoters. You already know we been here all week. Monday through Friday, yeah, we come in with all the heat. Producers from all around the world, you know what's up. Artists pull up too, yeah, get that interview We playing all your music and we playing you some beats You the trending topic, so we coming with the heat You already know we bout to run it up Hold on, wait a second, yeah, let's run it up Post it, and we hit you with that repost, you already know We networking, yeah, yeah, man, we finna blow Artists pull up, say that we on the sun But we already know, yeah, man, we on the sun Shout out my squad, you already know we bout to turn up In a circle shit, yeah, then we finna blow up Yeah, yeah, you already know, yeah, let's go, so tap it You already know we been here all week Monday through Friday, yeah, man, we come with all the heat Producers from all around the world, you know what's up Artists pull up too, yeah, get that interview Cause we beat the motors, beat the motors, beat the motors, yeah, we beat Promoters, yeah, we be promoters, be promoters, yeah, we be promoters. Producers from all around the world, you know what's up. Artists pull up too, yeah, get that interview. We playing all your music and we playing you some beats. You the trending topic, so we come in with the heat. Post it, and then we hit you with that repost, you already know. Yeah, hit you with that repost, yeah, we finna blow. You already know, if you with it though, tap it, you already know. Shout out by Beats, shout out Beat Promoters, and everybody tapping into the movement. You know the vibes. Thank you for tuning in.